hi everyone this is the uh, demo video of the previous email header analysis video that i have done so here i'll be explaining how to view and analyze an email header so uh, you can choose any received email that you want to view the header for and then click the more icon so i'm using gmail here we can click the more icon in the top right side and select show original so in some clients instead of show original it will be view raw message or even message source when you view the email header in gmail it displays the email in a way that it highlights important parts of the header such as the message id a date from to subject and authentication headers but from this view we can uh, only see of uh, some few details but if you scroll down you can see the full and complete header now usually what i do before i start analyzing is that i copy this header and uh, put it into the sublime text this is a text editor tool so I can paste the header here and you can see that this is like a mess not organized and hard to read the solution for this is to install the sublime text plugin so let me show you how to get this click on the email header a sublime text plugin link in the description box below and then you'll be directed to this page download the file go to sublime text select preferences browse packages and this is where the packages are stored and then copy and paste the downloaded plugin files here in the user directory that's it now you can select the plugin And here are the uh, header fields nice and clear for analysis now quick point here before we start when reading the email headers we should read from bottom to top the reason is that uh, the the earliest header information like the original sender will be at the bottom while uh, later modifications like additional forwarding hops will be added above as it goes so reading from bottom to top gives you an idea of the sequence of actions taken uh, it will make it easier for you to follow the email's actual path you can also use the email header tools uh, head analysis tools such as the mx toolbox for analysis but i'm doing this manually today so you know how it's done by the tools as well so let's get an idea on this header i will explain the main fields in this uh, email header that I took first we have a field starting with the word content the content type here says content type multi-part mixed which means that the email structure might include both text and attachments then we have content disposition because it says uh, that it has an attachment and it gives the attachment name as email header training.txt if there's no attachment it can also have the option as inline instead of attachment which says that the content is in line with the mail body next we have the message ID which is a very important field in a header because this is a unique message identifier that is applied by the server that sends the email so here the message ID is this and this part is the uh, server that sends the email and the part before that is uh, unique and this is a combination of around 50 letters and numbers so message ID um, is used for many purposes it ensures that the email is not a duplicate and it is used to track the delivery of status of the email uh, some email providers use this to prevent spam and phishing attacks as well and also to prevent multiple deliveries of the same email 
Okay, let's look at DKIM signature. This header is used for email authentication like to make sure nothing has been altered. Basically, verify integrity and authenticity. So here in the authentication result field, it says DKIM is passed. So there's no issue. For those who are not familiar with SPF, DKIM and DMARC, I'll make a separate video. The status of the DKIM can also be taken from here. Also, these two fields authentication result and ARC authentication results contain status of SPF uh, and DMARC as well. And according to this header, all have been passed. So SPF pass here means the sending mail server. Uh, mail server's IP address is authorized to send emails for Proton.me. And DMARC is passed means DMARC policy for the domain Proton.me is passed. So like, like, so like I said, I'll do a separate video on this. Next, we have the first received header. Uh, there can be more than one received headers because each time an email passes through a mail server, the server adds a received header to the email. So those headers are added in reverse chronological order, like I said, meaning most recent server or the hop that handled the email will appear on the top. So this is the first received header and it will show the originating server. In this, the received header details give you the following uh, details. The email has come from this server and it has got an IP address as well. The email was received by mxgoogle.com which is a Google Mail server and the protocol used for the transmission was this indicating that it's a secure transmission and then we have the x received which is another header adding a layer of tracing that can be useful for debugging anti-spam measures and ensuring security we also have uh, x google smtp source this is a custom field used by google then at last we have the last received header which gives information on the server that received the email so this is the address it's an ipv6 address and this ip is part of google's mail server infrastructure this part contains the timestamp when the email was received by the mail server so these are the main fields of the header we just analyzed but different emails can have different header information that might give us more details in an email so if you want to know more details about the header fields, then you can also refer to this website. I will have this uh, link also in the description box below. So this is all for this video. I hope you all learned something. Since this is a training video, this only has a few uh, details to analyze. But if you get an actual incident, it might have a lot more of uh, details. So if you need any help or uh, anything to clarify, then you can put it in the comment section below and I'll be answering. Thank you so much.